You bought a... Yes, Michael. I bought a Jeep. Now I'm off my nuts. And now for the people who bring about the latest in gaming news, get ready to get funky. It's the Samtime News! And it's game time. Hello, welcome to the Samtime News, where you get the latest and greatest news on video games. I'm your host, Sam Tucker, a.k.a. Samtime. And this episode is brought to you by ancient royalty born thousands of years ago that exists today among us, preserved through the process of mummification. That's right. Madonna. Let's get in some stories. Number five. A man awoke to find his house ablaze and decided to get out of there quick smart until he realized he had to rush back in to save a life. To save his... Xbox. The fire caused $80,000 worth of damage and surprisingly, rather than being treated for insanity, he was treated for his smoke inhalation. But the important story is, is that the Xbox survived. Oh, praise Jesus! Number four. There's a new drug kids are taking to their clubs, and it's surprisingly called Nintendo. The gaming company Nintendo aren't officially endorsing this drug. Apparently it's given the name just so it is more memorable to the uh, drug who's taking it. Nintendo contains a large dose of MDMA, aka ecstasy, so it'll get you pretty high. Yeah. Hey, g- give me some of that Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Other names for some new drugs propping up include Superman and Mitsubishi. For the sake of Australian advertising, I can't wait till they release one called a Jeep. You bought a... Yes, Michael. I bought a Jeep. Now I'm off my nuts. Number three. A new Tsunami mod has made its way to Grand Theft Auto V. Now you'll need a special hacked PS3 to install the mod, but when you do, the city just, just floods with waters everywhere. It looks pretty damn cool and it could make for some pretty sweet post-apocalyptic DLC if Rockstar decide to go in that direction. But most importantly, it gives the whole game the excitement of a swimming level. Number two. Kurt J. Mack is on a mission to find the mystical far lands of Minecraft. He seeks an unworldly realm where the procedurally generated code buckles under the weight of the land generated before it. The theoretical realm is 12,000 kilometers from your spawn point and on his three year journey, Kurt has managed a paltry 700 kilometers. He's got a bit to go. Still, it is a noble quest. I will discover the mysterious far lands of Minecraft. I will travel further than no one has ever gone before. I will see the sights of a world that crumbles under its own creation. I will go there, my friends, and I will tell you what I see. Bid me good luck. Pretty boring. Number one. Three minutes of the new DLC for The Last of Us Left Behind has been released, but I will not talk about it. And if you want to look at it, you can check out the video yourself. I'm just going to stay away and I'm going to leave it as a big surprise and I recommend you do the same. (laughs) It's kind of weird I brought it up. And that's the same time news. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for Funky Time. Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe if if you're not in the Funky Peep army already. Otherwise, I love you. Anyway, good chat. I'll see you next time. Sam time. Sam time. Subscribe today. Funk it down. And welcome to Sam Tucker's review of the Grammys 2014. Um, there were lots of people there. They, they cut to the Taylor Swift a lot. Uh, but Kanye did not interrupt her this time. I will discover the mysterious far lands of Minecraft. I will travel further than no one has ever gone before. I will see the sight of a world that crumbles under its own creation. I will go there, my friends, and I will tell you what I see. Bid me good luck. It's pretty boring.